Hey traders, this is Taylor with Top Pick Trading. I've been getting a lot of questions about uh, the setup bar and how that relates to the signal bar. So I wanted to explain that and see if I can clear it up for you. So let's start with this trade. Um, basically, we want we are trading reversals, reversal bars. So we want the setup bar to be the opposite color of the signal bar. And basically that that indicates a strong change in directionality. So you can see here, if you think about this logically, this is a good setup. It's a multiple test and it's also a second entry short. But if we look at the signal bar and setup bar in relation to each other, it's even better because we came up here, you can see this came down. This bar, the setup bar, reversed here, traded all the way up onto its high. So this indicates strong directionality on this bar alone, the setup bar. Continued higher and then reversed on the signal bar. So you can see how this can indicate a strong change of direction. And that, since we're trading momentum, um, that's a good quality to have. Let's go to a trade that's still decent, but has a bad setup bar. So this trade here, it's right at the key entry point and ended up, this actually ended up being a wider channel later on, but you can see we're right at the key entry point here on this second entry line. We came down first entry, broke below second entry, but the setup bar here is not good. So this is a little riskier. I think it's still decent overall, but um, the setup bar is not ideal because we came up, you can see we traded all the way up here and then kind of finished mid bar. So that alone indicates some indecision, but the fact that it didn't push down until the signal bar, and then the signal bar is great, but it pushed back up through. This indicates uh, lack of directionality. We really want it to move unidirectionally and change on the signal bar. So I hope this makes sense. Think about it like a trampoline. Um, you want to come down very fluently, and then the trampoline launch you up. You don't want to just kind of bounce small and then you're not going to launch up. So you have to use, uh, think about it like gravity. You have to use uh, your gravitational force to launch you higher on something like a trampoline. So hope that makes sense. I hope you enjoyed this and it clears up some things for you. So uh, y'all have a great day and we'll see you soon.